When one of the world's biggest ship liners goes belly up, the already convoluted process of bankruptcy gets even more complicated. Just ask Rebecca Moss. Rebecca is an artisan residence on board a container ship called the Hanjin Geneva. It's just off the coast of Japan, and it's technically stranded. You see, Hanjin shipping is about $5.5 billion in debt, and now that it's officially bankrupt, it doesn't really have the cash to bring the Hanjin Geneva into port. And this is the case for lots of its ships all over the world. The problem is twofold. Its assets are frozen, so it can't pay port fees, or crews to unload its cargo, or storage fees. So for the most part, a majority of ports have been refusing passage because they honestly don't think that they'll get paid. And even with a fresh cash injection and the promise of a new loan, it's just not enough. The other big caveat is that Hanjin shipping hasn't been too keen to risk docking either. You see, unless a country grants it bankruptcy protection, as soon as one of its vessels exits international waters, it runs the risk of being confiscated by its creditors. And we've already seen that happening. Another complication is that the $14 billion worth of cargo stowed in those shipping containers doesn't belong to Hanjin shipping. Those trapped goods are letters sent by Korea Post and electronics and toys. Okay, now back to Rebecca. She and some of the dozens of other ships in limbo are starting to run low on the basics. But there is a silver lining of sorts, if you're another major shipping company like Maersk Line. We've seen a quick rise in freight rates, and at least for the short term, that's giving a lift to the shipping industry. But that's little comfort to retailers feeling the supply chain squeeze, or passengers like Rebecca, still stuck at sea. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.